<laughs> and then just because you are in this uh, in, in this business, and I I know that like we had uh, we had uh, different months, let's say for this uh, for this uh, segment uh, since COVID's hit. So can you give us like a perspective of how COVID actually um, changed your business? How is changing the future? How you're seeing this the impact of COVID for your area? Okay, so uh, in general, COVID shut down the real estate market for almost two months, uh, from about the middle of March to um, probably the middle end of May. Uh, most things were shut down. It's very slow. Now, I did have a couple of clients purchase homes that were uh, basically homes that no one else wanted. They were like major fixer uppers. And that's all you could uh, really purchase at that time. So the, the market was dead. In fact, it was, I actually had a bit of a unique experience because uh, I sold a house back in March and basically I got an email the day of we were supposed to accept an offer that one of the other agents in the town has contracted COVID. And that was like, oh my God, like boom, COVID came. And like that agent, I think, came, like we would, we couldn't confirm if the agent had been to uh, other places and like how many other agents that have been to our house uh, have been uh, then you know at that agent's listing or their house or something like that so I was actually advised to shut down everything and mm -hmm. to not let people into the homes now thankfully we sold the house that day but I really freaked out my client <laughs> but uh, it, it turned out really well they end up uh, selling it for a good price in the end but um but after that things were pretty grim of course we were all at home uh, after May uh literally week by week uh, i was even using a program called broker bay which is uh, a lot of realtors here use a lot of brokerages here use which tracks the amount of showings offers and that kind of stuff using this program so if your company uses the program it'll just it just populate all the numbers and week by week we saw an increase in the activity uh from middle of may on uh pretty much from may on to be honest like maybe it was like very small subtle and then uh, it just became a seller's market again. It just ballooned and house prices went up again, like dramatically. So even the pandemic did not stop the market. Mm -hmm. uh, for my business, uh, because I'm someone that, uh, you know, I'm not like a top dog in the business. I'm not one of those uh, agents that has a full team under him. But however, we do consistently uh, have enough clients year by year. I had a lot of people reach out to me and were like ready to go and move uh, or they want to buy their first home, whatever it is. Maybe, you know, people were, were just sick of looking at their house for so long, being yeah. in a day-to-day -day, uh, or other situations that, uh, you know, aren't as positive, like people don't want to be together anymore. Uh, but at the end of the day, that's my job is to do the best to sell someone's home or to buy them the home for the best possible value. Uh, and uh, yeah, the market's been really, really busy. Um, I think uh, in... Uh, for example, my daughter was born on August 17th, and from June to the end of September, I was absolutely swamped, working like 67 hour weeks. So wow. literally a few hours, the next day she was born, I had to put a new house on the market in the hospital. <laughs> uh, and then now things are like pretty stable, so um, it's not that busy, but uh, most of my clients have already, uh, they've either purchased or they've sold whatever they needed to sell. Uh, so we're kind of coming down to the end of the year. And because of the pandemic, uh, and who knows if the second wave is actually coming very soon, uh, it's so difficult to predict what is actually going to happen. Um, so we just kind of like leave it at the seat of our pants. Um, but the market is pretty strong. It's strong enough to survive a pandemic. 